All right, let's check out Adam Zampa from Slovakia demonstrating this week's tip of the week, which was uh, block or clear that imaginary extra inside slalom pole. Um, Adam came in 14th in the first uh, World Cup this year at Levy, Finland, so he knows how to ski. Um, he's not one of those wild childs of the World Cup um, with that relaxed inside arm and hand dragging it on the snow uh, like Marcel Hersher, Ligeti, or some of the Swedes. But he's a little more fundamental, and that's how we have to be. Comes in here, clears the outside gate, or the gate with his outside hand, but he brings the inside one up, almost clearing an imaginary extra pole over here. The real one was here. What does that do? Well, gets them nice and square, keeps them from rotating, gets them nice and level. Uh, also sets them up perfectly for a double pole plant if he chooses. And there he goes again. Uh, extra gate would be right there and he's clearing it away. So I recommend you guys trying it. Uh, particularly on the steeps, it'll keep you from rotating. Uh, if you're doing any kind of reaching, you're going to rotate. When you rotate, your hip comes out the other way, the skis flatten, and they will skid. Um, so give it a try. Also give, give the old pole point a try. Uh, we've talked about hairpins before, but um, hairpins generally, if the gate prior and after are offset, it'll take us across the hill. Um, you know, the course here was going this way, and now all of a sudden the hairpin's going to have a change of direction momentarily this way before it resumes going down the hill. So he's got to figure out how to get from this gate here to this gate the fastest. Uh, and it's, the fastest is not going across the top of the hairpin and then try to run it straight and then back out here. It's going that way. So watch his focus. Where is he uh, facing? He's facing the direction of travel. He's facing the exit. He gets his feet around the top. He gives his feet some room uh, around the middle two poles. Has his direction done for a strong exit. And he was looking at this gate after uh, the offset one after the hairpin the whole time. There he is again, blocking that uh, imaginary inside pole. I mean, look how stable he is. He's got a great stance. Everything is happening from the waist down. Very quiet upper body. Comes through here. He doesn't stand up real tall. He doesn't have time. He retracts. He gets his feet up underneath him. He gets his hips up over the boots. He gets a little direction done. Bring a little shape back to the pole. And beautiful skin. Now sometimes, you know, guys like him, they do try to run, uh, you know, flushes too straight. And here's an example. So he's coming in. He really runs this one way too straight. Uh, you know, on the exit. His skis are pointing kind of down the hill. He would have loved to have a stronger exit, giving his feet room with direction done. Because now you can see he's got to get them way out here. Watch the spray. He's a little late and low. He's late and low again. He's fighting to get back online. So, you know, if the gate, if the gate after a flush or, or a hairpin is offset, we need to give our feet room, have direction done, have a strong exit. Can't fall in the trap of trying to run them too straight. This guy can snap off some slalom turns for sure. I mean, he, uh, he gets on and off that edge quickly. Short, powerful pressure and off. And let's, uh, let's watch him uh, in fast motion, a regular motion. I mean, uh, finish this off. That's good stuff.